Hi guys, on Scales here, and today I'm bringing you some skirmish gameplay. Actually, no, this is Rift. And this was the Daily Crucible a couple of days ago, and the reason I want to upload this is that I believe it's the best game I've ever played in Crucible. Um, so in this game I go 37 kills and 2 deaths, which is a KD of 18.5. And ever since Tekken King has come out, and ever since the uh, update 2.0, I've been doing way better in Crucible, I think, because um, there were a lot of people who relied on Thorn or Last Word, as well as the Blade Dancer and uh, Voidwalker Blink uh, jumps. They used them as, as crutches, really, to do really well, and it was difficult for players like Titans to compete against that. So with update 2.0, in terms of the classes, we were on a bit more of an even playing ground. And I've always mained as a titan, I've never really touched any of the other classes in PvP, apart from maybe one or two games as a warlock. But I've always played as a titan, um, a lot of my PvP history is with the defender, and then when Trials of Rosaris came out I started using Striker to counter the different supers that were there. Um, but even so, you know, Titans just had a tough time in terms of, you know, it wasn't really the 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 meta game wasn't really in their favor. They were they were they had quite a few disadvantages going for them. Um, you know, it just it, it it was difficult for us to compete. And you know, my KD averaged around 1.5, 1 1.6, something like that throughout you know year one vanilla Destiny. Update 2.0 came out, and once people couldn't blink around like crazy, and once shotguns were nerfed, and once, you know, the Thorn and Last Words were nerfed, um, and don't get me wrong, I used Thorn a lot, but, um, it wasn't a crutch weapon for me, like, I can do well without it, um, which I assume isn't the case for a lot of people, because when Update 2.0 came out, I started doing way better, just because people couldn't blink out of the way of shots, or just cheat their way out of gunfights that they really should have lost by using some inherent subclass benefits. And then with Titan King, as you can see here, we got the Sunbreaker, so our Titan finally had a Slayer class, and with this, my KD has shot up since Tekken King has come out, um, it's improved from about 1.64 to 1.71 overall in the past week or so. Um, and in <coughs> the past... I, I forget how Bungie.net ranks it. I think it's either in the past week or the past month. I think it's the past week. But my K KD overall for the past week has been 2.69, 2.7. So... I feel like now that I've played so much with Titans in Year 1 Destiny, which was a really tricky job because again, I it is my belief that they were really um, just unbalanced, and they were it was it was really it was a huge disadvantage to play as a Titan in, in year one. We didn't have arc bolts, which um, really in year one, if you had an arc bolt grenade or you know a, a sun singer solar bolt grenade, you could throw them without aiming, and you could basically win the gunfight before it even began. It was stuff like that that the Titan didn't have access to that really made it unfair for us, especially in Trials. Um, one thing I can think of is uh, in Trials, uh, there was a gear, there was a, a Trials week on Thieves' Den, and we were really struggling because I was trying to control one route, and all the other team had to do was throw two arc bolt grenades at me, and they didn't really have to aim them accurately, they just had to throw them in my general direction, and, you know, Two of them just had to do that very simple task, and boom, I was dead, and our team was crippled for the rest of the round. Um, so now that bolt grenades have been nerfed, now that Blink has been nerfed, now that Titans uh, finally have a good subclass in PvE to really go Slayer, like the Blade Dancer, and the, um, well, I guess the Blade Dancer was the main thing. This is kind of the Titan version of the Blade Dancer, so we're, we're, we've balanced out in that sense. Incendiary grenades have been buffed, so Titans do have, you know, a... Uh, a much better grenade, I think, now in the incendiary grenade. The lightning grenade was great, but again, compared to before the the bolt grenades that the other classes had, I mean, in the, in in one instance, the lightning grenade would do the exact same damage as a bolt grenade that the hunters and sunsingers had, but in the case of the titan, you had to be like twice as accurate with it for it to be effective. So, 
it was unbalanced in that respect. So, uh, additionally, with all of this, shotguns have been nerfed. I'm still doing well with mine, but I think people who were blinking and sliding and using high agility with shotguns as a crutch, um, they're not doing so well. They can't compete now that uh, the gunfights come down to proper gun skill. And hand cannons have been nerfed as well, so when people have to resort to weapons that maybe require three shots to kill, or certainly, you know, with the Thorn 3 update 2.0, you were talking at 0.3 second um, time to kill, which was, what, that was like a, uh, I don't even, that was maybe 10 frames? I don't even know. Uh, you're talking like a couple of frames to react, which was impossible with the Thorn. So the Thorn was really easy to use pre update 2.0. Um, and, I mean, it just, yeah, I mean, the fact now that most time to kills for weapons is now over the one second mark, proper gun skill is acquired, and um, generally I think it's a much fairer playing field. I think they should have done incremental updates much earlier, but I do want to say in regards to how long the, the balance patch took to come out, uh, they've definitely balanced out the game. There doesn't seem to be a definitive meta yet, like I'm still struggling in anticipation of, of Trials of Osiris coming out soon. I can't, you know, my thing before was to use the Thorn as a long range weapon and then my shotgun as close range. So I balanced that out um, quite well. But now I'm using the Red Death because that's the weapon I feel most comfortable with in terms of a quick time to kill. But I'm also still using shotgun, so I've got close range covered and medium range covered, but I can't cover my long range fights. And I think, you know, I, I don't like to, I, I, I don't like when you know you can't compete at a range. I think you should try and average out your class as much as possible. So I've been looking into Jade Rabbit. I haven't gotten that yet, so I can't really do much there. Um, the Boolean Gemini was something I was thinking of looking into, but from what I saw, its critical hits are about 66 damage each, which is a three or so, maybe even a four hit kill, even with criticals, which is just too slow for me. So ideally I'm, I'm looking for a long range scout rifle or something along those lines to work with instead of the Red Death to cover my long range as well as medium range fights with my primary when my special, my shotgun will cover close range but maybe that is a new, uh, the paradigm now where you can't cover all ranges with a single setup. Um, certainly again I've been doing best with Red Death as you can see in this game I just wrecked and um, <coughs> You know, I, I, gu I guess it's just a thing, like, you have to make trade-offs now, perhaps. Um, like, my time to kill is really quick with the Red Death, it's two burst headshot kill. But I can't cover my longer ranges, so maybe the, the, the meta before was kind of broken and maybe they're trying to make you think about this stuff more. Which is cool, I like that. I'm just, you know, I'm wondering if there is going to be a setup that can cover all ranges. Um, if there is, I probably want it over the Red Death, but we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, this was my best game, you'll notice a lot of the time, uh, sadly I didn't get any rift carries this game, I did escort, you might have saw earlier, I escorted the rift carrier with my sunbreaker, uh, and that was the only, uh, we only got one ignition this game, and so did the other team, so what really cut our two teams apart was uh, kills, and I think I really helped my team there to just widen the score gap in terms of getting 37 kills, and barely any deaths, only like two deaths to to give to the to the, to the other team's score. So you'll notice, like, uh, if if I get overwhelmed, I don't try to challenge. If there's two people, it's always a numbers game. Never challenge two people. Um, if you see one person, you can maybe challenge them. If you're weak at all, you know, back off, don't peek. Um, and if somebody's rushing you, don't you know rush out to challenge them. If they're rushing you, just let them come at you. And if you have a shotgun, just deal with them that way. Again, it's much easier to aim if you're standing still. Um, and if somebody's rushing you with a weapon and you can stand still and, and nail them with a shot as soon as they come into your view, you have the advantage because your screen isn't moving uh, when you're trying to aim and kill the guy while the other guy who's rushing you around the corner, he's got more sensory input to deal with and so there's more distractions there and you're more likely to win the gunfight overall. So in this game I play careful, you know, I, I defend the rift a lot, I make sure that we, uh, I think you'll see I, I kill uh, a few rift carriers. Um, so I think just generally this was a combination of not the greatest enemy team um, and also just I got lucky with the red death in the sense that no one on the enemy team really had much of anything to compete with my red death at medium range. 
Um, I believe a few of them did have snipers, and remember, you know, I didn't challenge them, I backed off. Uh, so you really just gotta engage in your own terms, uh, and let the enemy come to you. If they're, if they're aggressive, just, just let them come to you, you can kill them that way. And uh, Some people might say, oh, you're taking it too slow, or you're camping or whatever. At the end of the day, uh, you're playing the game the way it's designed to be played, and uh, the goal is to win. So, um, if that means, you know, somebody's rushing you, um, then, yeah, sure, wait around that corner, wait for them to push you and then kill them, don't don't risk yourself, don't uh, go by some arbitrary set of standards just to um, just to impress people and then end up losing the game because of it. Um, so, yeah, play the game how you want to play. You'll notice the rift spawns a couple of times here, I tried to cover it, uh, but in anticipation of how good this game could have been, I thought, I was just thinking... You know, I can cover the rift and I can ki kill the rift carrier and I can uh, escort the uh, rift carrier on our team. But uh, in terms of carrying it, I never saw a clear opportunity to go in and grab it um, without me dying. So really, I'll only carry the rift if I know I can make a straight shot. And that means if a super or something has cleared out most of the enemy team um, and I know there's a good while before they all spawn again, yeah, I'll take the rift and I'll carry it that way. But certainly compared to control, I just don't... Uh, I, I, regrettably, I, I, I find I, I'm not as much of an objective player in Rift as I am in Control and such. Um, in Control, specifically zone control, I will usually, about 90% of the time, get the most con uh, zone captures on my team. In Rift, it's a different story. I think you have to be really brave to carry that Rift, and props to anyone who constantly goes for it, because it's kind of a given if your team is not that great at covering you and you constantly go for that Rift. Um, you're going to die a lot, so it is a bit of a thinking man's game in Rift. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I just wanted to talk about, you know, how I approached this game, what weapons I used, uh, what I think of the new meta, why I think I did well, um, and just a bit of a discussion on some of the game modes as well. So that's my commentary. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, just you know, wanted to talk some Destiny PvP. Thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you guys later, I guess, and. Um, yeah, have a good day. Bye.